Unit 3, Lesson 15. Finding this percent of that. Number 1. A. To find 40% of 75, Priya calculates 2 fifths times 75. Does her calculation give the correct value for 40% of 75? Explain or show how you know. Yes, she is correct, because the fraction 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths which is also equivalent to 40 hundredths, and 40 hundredths is 40%. B. If x represents a number, does 2 fifths times x always represent 40% of that number? Explain your reasoning. Yes. 2 fifths times x equals 40% of x. 2 fifths is the same thing as 4 tenths, which equals 40 hundredths, which is the same as 40%. So 2 fifths times x is 40% of x, just like 4 tenths times x would be 40% of x, or 40 hundredths times x would equal 40% of x. Number two, Han spent 75 minutes practicing the piano over the weekend. For each question, explain or show your reasoning. A. Priya practiced the violin for 152% as much time as Han practiced the piano. How long did she practice? I made a double number line and I put Han's 75 minutes right above 100%. And then I divided 100% by 100 to get 1%. And I divided Han's 75 minutes by 100 and I got 75 hundredths. Since Priya practiced the violin for 152% as much time as Han, I multiplied the 1% times 152, and I got 152%, and I multiplied 75 hundredths times 152, and that gave me 114 minutes. Priya practiced the violin for 114 minutes. B. Tyler practiced the clarinet for 64% as much time as Han practiced the piano. How long did he practice? Again, I made a double number line with Han's 75 minutes represented as 100%. And I started the number line on the left-hand side at 1%. And I did that by dividing the 100% by 100. And then I divided 75 by 100 and I got 75 hundredths. Well, we know that Tyler practiced the clarinet for 64% as much time as Han practiced the piano. So we're trying to get 64%. So I multiplied 1% times 64 to get 64%. And when I multiplied 75 hundredths by 64, I got 48. Tyler practiced the clarinet for 48 minutes. Number three. Last Sunday, 1,575 people visited the amusement park. 56% of the visitors were adults. 16% were teenagers and 28% were children ages 12 and under. Find the number of adults, teenagers, and children that visited the park. I made a double number line, and on the right-hand side I have 100% of the visitors represented by 1,575. I divided 100% by 100, and I got 1%, and I put that on the left-hand side of the number line, and I divided 1,575 by 100, and I put 15 and 75 hundredths on the left-hand side of the number line, directly above 1%. I plan to use the value for 1% to help me figure out the value for 56%, 16%, and 28%. To determine the number of visitors who were adults, I need to find out what is 56% of 1,575. So I multiplied 1% times 56 to get 56%, and I needed to multiply 15 and 75 hundredths times 56, and that gave me 882. There were 882 visitors to the park who were adults. This double number line represents the number of teenagers who visited the park. I multiplied 1% times 16 to get 16%, and I multiplied 15 and 75 hundredths times 16, and that gave me 252 teenagers that visited the park. 
This double number line represents the number of children who went to the park. I multiplied 1% times 28 to get 28%, and I multiplied 15 and 75 hundredths times 28, and that gave me 441 children that visited the park. Number 4. Order from greatest to least. 55% of 180, 300% of 26, and way down on the bottom, 12% of 700. I made this double number line with the information that they provided for the first one, 55% of 180. But the only percentage that I'm really going to use is the 1%. I got that by dividing 100% by 100. And I also divided 180 by 100, which gave me 1 and 8 tenths. I multiplied 1 and 8 tenths times 55, and that gave me 99. So I know that 55% of 180 is 99. I made a double number line to figure out what 300% of 26 is. Well, I know 100% of 26 is 26. So I multiplied 100% times 3 to get 300%, and I also had to multiply 26 times 3, and I got 78. So 300% of 26 is 78. Look at the very bottom and you'll see 12% of 700. I created a double number line to find the value of 12% of 700. I know that 100% of 700 is 700. So I divided the 100% by 100 and I got 1%. I divided 700 by 100 and I got 7. So now the next step to figure out what 12% is, is I multiplied 1% times 12 to get 12%, and I multiplied 7 times 12, and I got the value of 84. So 12% of 700 is 84. In order from greatest to least, we have 55% of 180, which is equal to 99, 12% of 700, which is equal to 84, and finally 300% of 26, which is equal to 78. Number 5. Complete each statement. A. 20% of 60 is 12. 100% of 60 is 60. 10% of 60 is 6. Well, to get 20%, I just double 10%, which means I need to double the 6, and that gives me 12. 20% of 60 is 12. B. 25% of what number is 6? Well, I know that 25% is 6 because they gave me that information. And if I multiply 25% times 4, I will get 100%. So now I need to multiply the 6 times 4, and that gives me 24. So I know that 25% of 24 is 6. C. What percent of 100 is 14? Well, I know that 1% 1 of 100 is 1. So if I multiply 1% times 14, I'll get 14%. And if I multiply 1 times 14, I'll get 14. So 14% 14 of 100 is 14. D. 50% of 90 is what number? Well, I know 100% of 90 is 90. Divide 100% by 2, and I get 50%. So if I divide 90 by 2, I get 45. So 50% of 90 is 45. E. 10% of what number is 7? Well, I know 10% is 7. So to multiply 10% times 10, I can get 100%. So now I need to multiply the 7 times 10, and that gives me 70. So 10% of 70 is 7. F. 30% of 70 is what number? Well, I know 100% of 70 is 70, and 10% of 70 is 7. I know I can multiply the 10% times 3 to get 30%, and in doing so, I'd have to multiply the 7 times 3. And 7 times 3 is 21. 30% of 70 is 21. Check your answers and pause if you need to. Number 6. A shopper needs 24 sandwich rolls. The store sells identical rolls in two differently sized packages. They sell a six pack for $5.28, 
and a four pack for $3.40. Should the shopper buy four six packs or six four packs? Explain your reasoning. $5.28 divided by six for the six pack equals 88 cents per roll. The six pack sells the rolls for 88 cents each. $3.40 divided by four equals 85 cents. The four pack sells the rolls for 85 cents each. The best deal is the four pack selling the rolls for 85 cents each. Number seven. On a field trip, there are three chaperones for every 20 students. There are 92 people on the trip. Answer these questions. If you get stuck, consider using a tape diagram. A. How many chaperones are there? And B. How many children are there? Well, I created a tape diagram with the number of chaperones counting by three across the top in green and the number of students counting by 20 across the bottom in blue. Originally, it says that there were three chaperones for every 20 students. So if you notice below the three on the left, it says that there's 20 students. So three chaperones paired with 20 students. Next to it on the right, it says six chaperones to 40 students, followed by nine chaperones to 60 students, and then 12 chaperones to 80 students. Well, 12 plus 80 equals 92. And they said that there were 92 people on the field trip. So to answer the question, A, how many chaperones are there? There's 12 chaperones. And to answer the question, B, how many children are there? There are 80 children. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 3, Lesson 15, Finding This Percent of That. You don't want to miss a lesson. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that channel G-rated globe. Or show your support by visiting Patreon. What are you waiting for? Hurry, hit it.